and there's a very good chance that this is day one of Vlogween. So today we're gonna do something that we have not done on this channel in probably two years. We are gonna take a trip to PR Mail Mountain. Now I know a lot of you guys might not find this very vlogweeny, very Halloweeny, and yes, that is very, very true. This is not very vlogweeny, but Today, October 1st, we are actually in Austin. I'm like talking to you guys in the future from the past, but we are working on a really big project today for a Vlogoween video that will be in the future. So that's probably what the Vlogoween schedule is gonna be like this year. There's gonna be some normal videos, some very specific Halloween videos, and then there's gonna be like smaller, quicker, easier to film videos, and then, larger projects sprinkled in as well because some videos literally take me like three and four days to film one single video. So yeah, basically I'm just telling you guys I'm trying to balance everything out but to stay on a daily uploading schedule and I'm really hoping we can do it this year. We, by we, I failed in 2018 but in 2017 we did every single day successfully. And you guys, I got a new ring light and I feel like it's getting brighter and dimmer all the time. And also, how do people use these things? Like, I swear 10 out of 10 optometrists would agree. This has got to be causing some sort of retinal damage. So I guess that's how this fits into Vlogoween because that prospect is horrifying. Anyway, I have a lot of fun packages that have stacked up. And normally, I know some of you guys love videos like this and some of you guys hate it. But we just got back from Walt Disney World and while I was gone, all of these boxes stacked up. So I thought it would be fun to just open it with you guys. I honestly miss doing videos like this with y'all because I just get excited when there's new products and new makeup and stuff released and I like to talk to you guys about it and kind of like get you guys' opinions, see what y'all are excited for, what you're kind of over and the best way to do that is to like actually open it together and I love to see you guys' comments and discussions in the comments down below. Anyway, that is enough rambling. Let's get open to slicing and dicing. So actually three of these boxes, this huge one, this one, and this one, they're all from Dolls Kill and they are all Halloween related. So those are going to be in another Vlogoween video, but they are just stacked back here for the ambiance. But let's go with this one. Ooh, this is from Sunday Riley. And I just went to a Sunday Riley event. I can't remember if it was at the end of August or the beginning of September, but they are actually a local Houstonian company. And so it was so much fun to be able to go to a beauty event. I don't get the opportunity to do that very often because most of them are held in New York and predominantly in LA. And I am literally never there, but it was an absolutely gorgeous event. I brought my mom, I had so much fun. This is what was in the first box and it is an ice cream themed package. This little carton is so adorable and I am really excited to be able to test this product out. Oh my gosh, look at that. There's like a couple little confetti pieces on the top. Whoa! And I don't even know what this is. Oh my gosh, this is like a cute little pin. I love that. Kat and I were shopping at Sephora the other day and I saw this product sitting out and you guys know that I am just crazy about skincare. So this is called Ice Ceramide Moisturizing Cream. Now maybe you guys can tell me some information about the ingredient ceramide down below. I have definitely seen that often in skincare products, but I have to admit I'm not as familiar with that ingredient as I am with like things like salicylic acid or hyaluronic, hy hyaluronic acid. Anyway, ooh, it looks like a nice sort of whipped texture. I'm gonna test this out tonight. And the other thing that it can, oh my gosh, it smells really good too. Almost like a vanilla scent. Maybe I'm just, it's the power of suggestion with the ice cream. It also came with this little tool to apply it. So very, very excited about that. Okay, up next. Oh, this is from Sigma. 
Oh my gosh, you guys, I must admit, I am super, super tired. I've been working on fixing my sleeping schedule and I've actually been doing really good. Like I've been getting up at like 9 a.m. every morning, putting on my makeup. I don't know, I'm just feeling like such positive energy lately. I feel like I'm like getting back on track on like a normal non-nocturnal sleeping routine. So, ooh, okay, so this is a new package from Sigma. So Breast Cancer Awareness Month is in October and 20% of the proceeds of this kit looks like it's going to bright pink, which I have never heard of that society or charity association. I don't know what I'm saying. So it looks like it's a nice little set. We have the 3D HD Kabuki, a uh, 3D HD blender, and a makeup brush bag. Let me slide it out so you guys don't um, see such of a glare. But this is a really pretty metallic color. I love the 3D HD shaped products for like contouring and everything and then we've got this cute little metallic pink bag which i think it's coming through more silvery than pink but it is pink all right up next oh this is from huda beauty and i'm excited to see what this is gonna be because i feel like i have been obsessed with her products lately i absolutely love the neon palettes those have just been some of my favorite palettes that i've used over like the past six months so let's see what this is gonna be it comes in this nice pouch does that say powerful so I wonder if these are going to be more of the lipsticks, which I thought were called powder full. But they kind of have a nice matte powdery texture to them. And they are. It looks like some of these shades I recognize from receiving them before. So we've got a lot of, I don't know how we would describe these colors. Like very natural. Ooh, okay. I am probably gonna be very excited for this shade called Last Night, especially since we are officially in fall. Let me see if I can show you guys the shade range. Ooh, oh my gosh. Okay, so it's called 90s browns, spiced browns, natural pinks, and pinky nudes. And oh my gosh, very excited for this shade range. I think I'm gonna be most excited. This is in the Spiced Browns. Last Night is what it's called. I love the Powderful Lipstick. Aren't they called Powderful? Powder Bullet Matte Lipstick. I don't know why, like sometimes I just come up with my own names for what products are. It's like not that name at all. Do you guys do that? So this is what the packaging looks like, but I've had several of these shades before. She had a lot of like brighter pinks and I really, really love the texture, but this is what they look like. And that is an absolutely gorgeous shade. I'm gonna pull directly from behind me. And this is a little envelope mailer from Too Faced. I'm very excited for their new um, gingerbread products. I think it's all the holiday range. And oh my gosh. Okay, so I will just say I feel like PR this year, like when it comes in the envelope, like I can appreciate that they're trying to be more concise with like how PR comes packaged and stuff. But I've gotten so many like smashed, <laughs> broken PR products this year. This one doesn't look broken, but the packaging is like, I don't know. So I don't know what the solution to that would be, but this looks like it is called Clover 3. So each year I think they do a collaboration with like for charity. I think it's like the actual Too Faced brand dog. They have like a, a dog ambassador whose name is Clover. And so uh, they've been doing this for three years now. And I think, like, what charity do you, does it go to? Best Friends Animal Society. So this is the shade. 
And I feel like this is kind of like a really wearable shade. I always hate when I describe shades as wearable because like every shade is wearable. But you know what I mean. It's like a neutral like pinky kind of color. Up next is this, which I have no idea what this is. It just says other. So let's cut it open and find out. I like literally don't even see a company name. Oh! Okay, I am so excited for this because you guys know that I've gotten back into tanning. Loving Tan actually reached out to me. I think that maybe they saw that I had said that I was like getting back into tanning in some videos and stuff. So they asked if they could send me some products and I'm so excited to get this because they used to send me product all the time and I really loved it. But for several years, I just wasn't like tanning at all. So... Here are all the new products. We have Bronze Shimmer Cream, Deluxe Gradual Tan, and we have a Deluxe Bronzing Mousse, some mitts and applicators, and I'm very, very excited to use this because I always loved their products before and it's been a long, long time since I've had any of them. I do think some of these products are new. Like I don't ever remember having or testing the bronze shimmer before, but definitely I believe I had the mousse and I loved it. So this is like very nice, fancy tanning products. Up next is Soul Body, which is like a division of ColourPop, which is a lot of like body shimmers and I don't, I don't really know what it is. I don't know if I've ever gotten any of the other PR from this line, but oh my gosh, these are gradual sunless tanning lotions as well. I think they just launched like a lavender body shimmer and I was kind of hoping that that's what was going to be in the box, but uh, beggars can't be choosers. I'm excited to try this too. It's like tanning is like in season. I guess they feel like it's about to be fall. So like there's no more sun in the sky. I don't know. Uh, so we have fair to light and medium to deep. I'm going to open fair to light and oh my gosh. Okay. So that is what it looks like. Is it just me or does this packaging kind of like remind you guys of like Kylie skin? Isn't it kind of like almost the same color, the same look? I'm not being shady, I'm just being, I'm just asking a question. Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and open this because it is ColourPop. So, like I said, they just launched like a whole lavender lilac line. Oh, and this is the new uh, foundations, I believe. So, I don't know if this is, yeah, okay, so it says ColourPop on it. I didn't know if this was another like, line that they launched as well but this is called pretty fresh and this looked really interesting as well it is a hydrating ha tinted moisturizer i don't know what ha means i know that that's like a healthy skincare ingredient it's so late i feel like my last brain cell has left a long time ago i think it comes in 40 different shades but i might be mistaken so this is what it looks like it comes in a pump i'm gonna go ahead and just pump a little out so we can kind of get a tiny little feel for what the texture is. Wow. I feel like that is a really good match for me. And I've been loving that lately, like tinted moisturizers, tinted sunscreens, like something that just gives me like really light foundational coverage. And then the other two products in here are an HA setting mist. Is that hyaluronic acid? The thing I was attempting to pronunciate earlier. I think that that's what HA stands for, but I could be wrong, but that is very moisturizing. And this is an HA primer and it just says hydrating. So I bet it does have hyaluronic acid in it. So I'm very excited about that. Okay. Let's go ahead and move this doll's kill box out of the way. Okay, let's unbox this. Oh, this is from IT Cosmetics. I feel like their little PR mailers always look like this. You always know when you get like a little ribbon box. It's from IT Cosmetics. Oh my gosh, I love these brushes. So this is a brand new Heavenly Skin brush and it's a Bye Bye Pores brush. So it says groundbreaking anti-aging skincare infused hair brush. That 
is very fascinating. I've never heard of something like that. I have heard of like charcoal infused brushes, which are supposed to be like cleaner, um, you know, kind of like antibacterial, but that is awesome. So that's what it looks like. Their brushes truly are heavenly. Like they're always so luxurious and soft. So this looks new. I know that they have like the Bye Bye Pores line, but I don't remember ever seeing this specific product before. So this is called the Bye Bye Pores Leave On Solution Pore Refining Toner, Skin Mattifying. And it's kind of like got this milky blue tint to it. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. And then we have Bye Bye Pores Poreless Finish Airbrush Powder in Translucent. I've definitely had this before and I love this setting powder. It definitely does give you like a flawless airbrushed finish. Next, we've got something that is very heavy and I don't see who this is from, so. We're just gonna have to open it. Ulri Ul Henriksen. I can never say the name right. Ul, Ul Henriksen. This is a product that I tested pretty recently and I actually liked it. It's called the Fat Glow Facial and it instantly exfoliates and illuminates with PHAs and Nordic Birch Sap. I don't know what birch sap means, but it is a nice like kind of masking skincare product. You leave it on for 15 minutes. Um, and then this is a Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream. I think this is a new product. I don't remember ever seeing this before. And this is called the Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream. This is the Truth Line. I've never tried this. It smells amazing. It almost smells like a uh, creamsicle, like popsicle, orange sherbet creamsicle. Dreamsicle, what are those things called? Anyway, I tried other of their Truth products and I really like them. Sippy sippy. And then the last thing is something I don't think I've ever tried either. It's called the Glow 2 OH Dark Spot Toner. And it comes in this blue packaging. I love the bright blue bottle. All right, lots of fun skincare. Oh my gosh, okay, I just noticed this back here. It's a ColourPop box and it's lilac lavender in color. Oh my gosh, okay, yay. It is the lilac collection. So it says lilac you a lot. And this actually has the Soul Body Shimmer. It's called Shimmering Dry Oil, but oh my gosh, I'm so, so happy to have this because it just looks so gorgeous every time I see it on Instagram and I've really been getting into like body shimmers and body makeup ever since I did that KKW body product like a couple months ago now I don't know I'm just I am starting to get back into lavender I think lavender a couple years ago used to be my favorite color I was obsessed with everything lavender and then I kind of like got out of it and now I think I'm right back in it. So this palette is called Lilac You A Lot. Oh my God. I looked down, I saw this. It's just like the styrofoam protectant. I thought it was broken. They have one that's like kind of like deeper purples. And I really love that one. But I think I'm going to love it. But I think I'm going to love this one even more. Because normally I use like kind of more shades like this when I'm doing a purple look. So I think I'm going to be very, very excited about that. I don't even know what this is. Blush Stick Duo in Amethyst. I don't, my gosh, I don't even recognize these blush stick products. I'm trying to be clever and open to it once. Ooh, those are so beautiful. We have Violet Crush Mascara. Oh my gosh, two purple eyeliners and a purple mascara. A lip crayon bundle. So this is called Budding Romance. Oh my gosh. Okay. I am so excited. For There's so many lilac products in this box. All right. Next box is from Derma Blend. And I've always wanted to try their like super, super coverage foundation. I feel like that's kind of what they're forever going to be known for. That's like their superstar product. But slowly but surely, I have been 
seeing them kind of like create like expand their line is basically what i'm trying to say so this sounds really exciting it is the insta grip jelly primer so i'm gonna go ahead and just squirt a little sample i love anything with the name jelly in it oh okay i'm gonna squirt this again you guys look at this texture it looks almost like <laughs> i don't know why i'm trying to say sticky Oh, because it is. Okay, this reminds me of the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. It's like a really good primer. I love that one. I've never tried this one, but it does have just a little bit of tack to it. But I definitely wear primers like that on days where I know it's going to be like super hot or super humid. Wow, that smells really good too. Okay, and then the other thing they have in here is an illuminating banana powder setting powder. And I'm excited to try an illuminating banana powder. I've definitely tried banana powder before, but never illuminating. Wow. Next product. This, oh my gosh, from Hourglass. That is fascinating. I don't think I've ever received PR from Hourglass before. You know what? It's not, maybe it's not Hourglass. Is this Kate Somerville on the top of the box? Maybe they're one and the same? I think Kate Somerville is skincare, right? Sephora's best-selling acne treatment squad. So this is pretty interesting. We have eradicate acne treatment. That is, oh my gosh, it's like a little bottle of like pink liquid. This next thing is eradicate daily foaming cleanser they're all kind of these like pink colored products an acne scar diminishing serum it's like in a little rollerball fascinating okay up next we've got something Ooh, this is from urban decay i had originally gotten this right before i went out of town to florida and it literally at first was shipped like just like this and mine came busted i don't know if like the mail is just like less gently handled here i don't know if kind of like everybody's been having that issue a lot this year or if i've just somehow been unlucky but I hope since this one was like in a larger box with more packaging, like I hope that this one survived because oh my gosh, this palette just looked absolutely gorgeous. See, it's like in this like packaging like this and it has a eyeshadow primer potion and then here is the palette and fingers, fingers so, so crossed that this one is safe and all in one piece. Oh my gosh, look at the packaging. I feel like I will forever and always love naked palettes and be so excited for them. Okay, you guys, this one lived and I'm so excited. Look at these colors. This is definitely gonna be a palette that I am gonna use a ton. All right, up next. Oh, this is from Fresh. Okay, it is the Black Tea Kombucha Facial Treatment Essence. Is this the new product? I love everything that has black tea inside of it. This is their soy face cleanser for all types. I feel like this product has been around for a while and also their Lotus range, I feel like has been around for a bit. So this is Lotus Youth Preserve Dream Face Cream. That sounds amazing. Look at this really gorgeous blue packaging. I feel like lots of really fun and exciting skincare products to test today. Okay, I just have to know what's in this big box. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so cute. It's two new um, Yummy World plushes. And this looks like it's gonna be for holiday. Oh my gosh. Okay, he's just a hot sauce. Look at how cute this is. He is like supposed to be Tabasco. He's yummy sco. That is so, so cute. He looks like a hot sauce bottle. And then the other one definitely looks like he is ready for the holidays because he is a plush of a hot cocoa mug and the little marshmallows are on top, the little um, candy cane. That is so cute. You can actually like hold it. It looks like a mug. These fell over. 
and it is from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Oh my gosh! Okay, I know what these are gonna be. I always see this packaging and I get so excited because these are some of my favorite Jeffree products. They are the Star Mirrors. So we have two new ones. I know he just recently launched, I think, five different uh, metallic mirror shades. So let's see which shades these are. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's a gold one. That is so awesome. And let's see what color this one is going to be. Oh, okay. This one might be my favorite one of all time. I love silver. I'm like a silver person. So that is what this one is. So we got metallic silver and gold. Oh my gosh. All right. I am excited for this one. It is from Vamp Stamp. And you guys know that I absolutely love beauty tools. I'm always just like really excited about stuff like that. So this says Conquer the Cut Crease. So I recently saw them on an end cap in Ulta section where like new brands and stuff are coming in. And I think that's pretty exciting. So this kit is exclusively available at Ulta.com or in Ulta stores. So that is interesting to know. So here is this kit. That looks so cute. So it looks like we have a liner, a brush, and a stamp. Let me open it up so we can see the shape of the stamp. I feel like I tested out a makeup stamp a long time ago, but it was not like the official vamp stamp one. So I'm really looking forward to trying this. So we have the left wing and the right wing. Oh my gosh. So this is called Victorian, the shade. And it looks like it's going to be a really beautiful, like kind of rosy metallic shade. I feel like it's not wanting to focus because like the packaging is like blinding the camera up next oh my gosh okay something else from it cosmetics oh okay i am very very excited for this i think that this is for charity as well so it's called look good feel better i think that that is yeah so that is a program and it benefits women who are going through cancer treatment i love these brushes i feel like this is something that they've done for a couple years now as well where they launched these special edition heart shaped brushes. I struggled to get this brush out of the tube for longer than I'd like to. It's still stuck in there so I'm gonna just show you guys the picture but it is a very cute heart shaped brush and it's got these metallic little silver hearts on the uh on the handle. Oh okay this says makeup fridge and it's from glow recipe oh my gosh okay this one is like the cutest mini fridge i've ever seen because it's got a little handle on the outside that's so cute so i guess you can actually order their makeup fridge. oh my god you can actually order their makeup fridge now and it comes chock full with glow well i don't know if you order it if it comes full of glow recipe products already I like that. Uh, all right, up next is from Too Faced. Oh my gosh, okay, so it looks like it's their mascaras. It is one of each of their like super, super famous mascaras. I think I like Damn Girl better than Better Than Sex, but if you guys have tried both of them, let me know down below which one do you like better. Next box is from Tarte. I just cut it open. This is the travel size shape tape. And then they also made, I think that this is like a, an interchangeable cap, but it's like a super blinged out sparkly shape tape cap and then travel size shape tape and then the shape tape i think it's called the shape tape sponge all right up next is from murad and i'm always so excited to see their boxes because i've been using murad for a really 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 long time like 17 18 years anyway so this looks like a brand new product is it I don't know. 
Environmental Shield Rapid Age Spot Correcting Serum Clinical Strength and the Environmental Shield Rapid Age Spot and Pigment Lightening Serum. This is from, I literally do not know. I don't know who this is from. Oh my gosh, you know what? We should totally do an unboxing for this. It is all like K-Beauty, J-Beauty products from Yes Style. There's like a million items in here. So I feel like that would make a video on its own. Next, we have a DHL pack. Ooh, okay, I know what this is. This is from Casetify. All right, so this is super exciting. So um, I have here in my hands a brand new iPhone 11 pro so i think i should go switch my phone i'm so i'm most excited to do i know that there's like a slow motion selfie version and uh that is honestly the thing that i am most excited for and also i love these like weird three camera whole thing going on that is pretty fascinating so i also have in here i'm assuming that this is a bunch of case defy cases Oh my gosh. Okay. This is so cute. So here's one that says bunny on it. And then we have this one, which is a bunch of aliens. Oh my God. This one says earth sucks. That is too perfect. And then, oh my gosh, the last one is like a gray and black camo. That is adorable oh my gosh wait i cut this box open already but this is the new Too faced palm springs palette Ooh, i love this like pink super glittery shade i feel like the lighting is so jacked so nothing probably looks the color that it actually is okay we have a box from profusion here oh Ooh, ooh, this is so pretty. So this is called the Mirage palette. And this has a lot of shades in it. All right, last box, you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so silly. Okay, this is for Halloween and this is not PR. This is like something that I ordered and it was so hilarious. Oh my gosh, okay. I'm unreasonably excited for this. It is a spider hoodie. Oh my god. All the arms are like very gently connected. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it was like a one size fits all kind of thing. And oh my god. Look at this. Oh, the lighting is so weird. I hope it hasn't been quite this bad for the entirety of the video but look at how hilarious this is okay <laughs> look at that this is just too strange i love it i love it so much do you guys love this so this came from urban outfitters and i feel like every year they have a pretty cool halloween shop but they only have a couple of items. I don't know. That is it, you guys. I hope I didn't miss any boxes. I feel like that was a lot of exciting treasures to open and unbox today. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you missed these kind of videos, if you never really cared about them. I would love to know you guys' thoughts and opinions down below. Either way, I had fun today and it was fun to share this stuff with you guys. And I'm honestly so, so grateful for all of this stuff and I'm excited to test it all out. So thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today with me and for watching. I love you guys so, so much and I will see y'all again very, very soon. Bye! Me and all of my six arms waving goodbye.